It's mm, awesome. beautiful. I like this little creature. Oh, Jesus Christ. People, people will appreciate the look. That, that's oh, not, God. That is not Markiplier. Oh, that's not me this idiot. time. That's the principle. It's not me this time. <laughs> the principle of what? The principle of the Academy. I guess I gotta do the what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> It's that hypercube I was telling you about. Oh, oh, there it is! There it is! Oh my god! Here! His name is she. I know. Oh no. If you want to see an Elder Core, I'll show you an Elder Core. I thought that was a forklift. Now? He's a carton? Your eyes are following me? Your eyes are following me. Okay, so guys, I have a plan if you want to listen. Oh, here's a plan. It's a plan. Do it. Since I've been here before and I like seeing the good ending done every time, uh, how come there's not many people today? Again, oh, yeah. good ending. Well, again, I was forced to do the bad ending. <laughs> Man. Well, what happens if someone just stands in front of the on the shore in the vessel instead of hiding for cover? Um, what would happen if that if someone did that? <laughs> no. I would like to please. please it would be a shame if someone stood in front of the touring vessel as it flew past. Ten. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Attention, travelers, gather around the infomorphic hypercube. Tonight's event. Now begin. It seems you've met with an uncertain fate. You find yourself at an interdimensional crossroad. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. My name is Sheen. I am a highly metastasized, infomorphic, memetic meme complex, and one of the tour guides of VR travelers. We create immersive, story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and 100% wholesome team effort. Welcome to the rendezvous our point of contact to the narrative domain. Tonight, you're in for a treat, travelers, newcomers. The ether is with you, yes, because tonight we are graced by the presence of one of the highest ether spirit, the greatest voice actor to ever grace VR chat. Yes, travelers, put your hands together for tonight. We welcome Trey Jim, the tour guide. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. hell yeah. Trey Jim. My good old Trey Jim. <laughs> Virgil? No. Put the sword away. Put the sword away. <laughs> I'm motivated. Not yet. Not yet. 
Do you have a chair? Yeah, I do actually. Good evening, friends. And welcome to the tale of the scavenger. I have a few rules for you to keep in mind before we begin. Please, I ask your attention for a few minutes. Tonight's instance will be an invite plus instance. Please make sure your status is not blue. You may add any or all of us to our guides as friends, because if for some reason you need to get back into the world, you'll have to send an invite request to someone who is already in there. Please also remain with me, your tour guide, tonight at all times. Please kindly fall silent while narration is occurring. But as we walk from place to place, you are welcome to converse and talk amongst yourselves. There are a few more world-specific rules that I'll cover when we get in, but for now, those in front of me kindly step aside, and I will drop a portal. Please do not enter this portal until I give the signal. My friends, enter the portal now and wait for me on the other side. I'll see you all there. Cowabunga. <laughs> Yeah, we got okay, so basically, there are multiple endings. Do you guys want to figure it out yourselves, or do you want to maybe work yes. together with those here? Do you want to do that? You wanna... Okay, so there are multiple endings. Long story short, there are multiple endings to the tours, and it usually takes multiple Saturday sessions to figure out what's going on or how to get to the ending. And... Yeah. Two things required for the good ending. Um, Captain Panda, have you seen the good ending before? Yes, yeah, I've seen the good no? ending. You know I've seen the good it? ending, so yes, uh, I've seen the good ending, so I may or may not be do actively it? working against it. Oh no! You gotta okay, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm go we're gonna be working against Team Deer Mood over here. So, don't worry about it, it's an inside thing. So, where is Dermot? He's not here, that's why we have a chance to actually get the good ending. So, anyways. Well, I'm kind of curious. Well, I know. Is, um, How come there's not many people in this instance today? There's not many people doing the tour today. Okay. There's not many people. So, um, as far as I... Yes? We were insanely close to it last week. Just one, you were just one option off if you, if you want the spot. That it was, yes, we know that. So, as, as far as I remember, um, I believe that at the beginning, there are a certain amount of caves that we have had to explore. And I think only one of them is the correct answer because 
how this works is that we have a limited amount of points. To make it simple, we have a limited amount of points to do stuff. And if we run out, we die. Pretty much. Oxy so, is a bitch. What he said. We know that... Uh, we know, and we're looking for two people. There are two people that we're looking for. I know how to find one of them, but we gotta figure out exactly where the other person is. And I'm betting it's in that cave. In the first cave caves so we got to choose wisely w with how many caves we pick i think what we could do is like we could find the cave with the most guards like with people behind it you know what i mean understood mm -hmm. so when we're prompted to like because it's democratic how we choose options is of a democratic vote so I was thinking, like, um, maybe wait until we find a cave that's guarded by, like, maybe one or two people. You'll see what the people are in a moment, like, soon after, because we sort of, we'll get to it when we get to it. But um, I think it's a good plan, because I already know how to get one of the things we need. We just need to figure out how to get the other one. There's Mr. Rendezvous. Okay. I don't know how the fight goes because I kind of passed out from exhaustion. Fight? But that's Four, that's what. Uh, oh, we're about to start. We're about to start. Three, two, one. My friends, please gather around. I have a couple more things to explain to you. First, set your world music to a comfortable level while I talk. If you press G on your keyboard, or I believe double squeeze triggers, it should bring up a world menu. Please try this now. Press G. Or press both triggers. This brings up a world menu. You can use this to t teleport directly to me if you need to catch up to the tour group for any reason. Does anybody need help accessing this menu? Oh fuck, it came back. Uh, nice. Yeah, I think Panda's struggling. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not in desktop mode. Yeah. Panda, what VR system are you using? Index. I think I think you have to squeeze the handles instead of the triggers. Yes, I have index too, so okay, it's squeeze. Right. That is very okay. Okay. Very well, there are a few more notes for you, my friends. Over where they just were, you will see a book bouncing excitedly up and down. If you click this book, you will toggle post-processing on and off. If you have found this world too dark in the past, please go and click this book now, as I am going to. One final note. This is a world. Respawning will cycle you through f several different spawn points. We are at the first spawn point at the moment, but we are going to start at the second spawn point. If you find yourself in the wrong map, please continue respawning until you end up in the right instance. Everybody, please respawn once now and wait for me. Ooga booga, ooga booga booga, ooga ooga booga. The good old berserker. Ooga booga. Do a 
pussy. What? Hey. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Memory. <laughs> okay, I'm done pondering. Congratulations. Where did you okay. come to? I've come to the real Greetings, travelers. Your tour guide will be here shortly. Kindly remain calm and do not panic. But what if you're the only tour guide for me, Shane? I wasn't gonna panic till you said that, dude. No, I'm mildly concerned. Oh, it's the guy. See. Why is it when I trim my head around a different area, the audio goes only goes to one ear? Hey, Metal, have you done the good aim before? No. Uh, I've not done this at all. Let's... Don't worry, we'll work together. We'll be fine. Friends and the travelers. I ask once more for your attention. For you see... The story begins. <clears throat> the scavenger is on a mission. A mission to save the people of the Oversea Realm from extinction. Where he comes from, people live in airships held above a sea of ether clouds by great creatures called titans. If you have seen the scavenger part one, you would have been there when the scavenger learned that when a titan reaches the end of its life stage, it descends into the cloud sea to become a demigod in the sub-sea realms. But this descent through the ether sea kills anyone who was relying on the titan for survival. Humans cannot survive the descent. Which begs the question, we join the scavenger in his descent, but how? He, his crewman friend, and a gunner sent by the admiral are all aboard the Ganador, a vessel of unknown origin, its hull infused with ether and not reliant on a titan for buoyancy or movement. It is, for all intents and purposes, a submarine designed for the depths of the ether sea. Their goal is to find a blue titan egg. This will act as an egg for new titans and restore balance to the oversea realms. They have been descending for hours. The scavenger hears nothing but the hum of the Ganador's engines and whatever conversation occurs spontaneously between them. It's a dull descent, but in the back of his mind sits a seed of anxiety. What's it like outside? What could possibly exist down here to be a god over? Does anything live down here? Are there thousands of wreckages of sunken airships, corpses of titans, mountains of human bones? He shudders at the thought and tries to shake it from his mind. But the dark images persist. After a short while, the gunner says he hears something. They will stop what they're doing and listen. There is a noise, something being plucked from the outside of the hull over and over and the periodic tapping of something much harder. The sound echoes through a small interior and the scavenger becomes acutely aware of how reliant they are on the integrity 
of the Ganado's infused chassis. Wait, what? Alarms suddenly go off as the whole vessel lurches to one side. Something pulls hard at it. All three of them are thrown to the ground. The scavenger scrambles for the oxygen tanks and masks kept in the cabinet. As everything turns red, there's a scream of steel, and then... The scavenger slowly regains consciousness. The first thing he notices is the air. Even through his diving suit, he can feel how cold and clammy the air here is. He opens his eyes and tries to sit up. His body aches and stings. But his limbs are intact. Nothing seems broken. Wait. Why is he in a cave? You get in here. He looks around. There's no sign of any wreckage, and the crewman and gunner are not here. But there is a person over. Wait. No. That's no person. Humanoid, yes, but the scavenger can see tentacles, arms like a squid or octopus, and with these it is gripping a spear. What is this thing? It's standing nearby, quite close, but has its back to him. He feels as though he's being held captive. His mask and oxygen tank are still attached and functioning, but he's been spending air lying here for however long. He checks the oxygen gauge. 85%. That's not good. He can't just sit here. He quietly gets up and makes a decision. Wielding the robust oxygen tank as a weapon above his head, he sneaks up on the squidman. And with all his might, he swings the steel object into the squidman's head. It collapses in a heap, twitching before going still. The scavenger focuses on his goals. He needs to find that blue titan egg. He needs to find his crewman friend and the gunner. And he needs to locate the Ganador. All before he runs out of air. My friends, throughout this adventure you will be prompted with choices. And some choices will consume more air than others. Waste your oxygen and the scavenger will die. But if you hold on to it too tightly, the scavenger will probably survive. But what will you achieve? Everybody, please follow me as the scavenger walks through the cave. Okay, so who has been on this tour before? Isn't this the same story? Or? Okay, that was the one, transition. That, this is... Yo. Guys, this is, uh, this is entirely different. 
It's more yeah, different than last time. That's me. Guys, don't, uh, don't. Okay. Crazy so, my friends, now. don't panic. We may have got the narrative wires crossed. Let's try one more respawn and see what happens. Oh, okay. We... Oh. We're here. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, Who has been okay. to the Google? Yes or no? Raise your hand. Yes. Oh, raise my I can't dragon. raise my hand. What yeah. caves did you all explore on your on your on your session? I don't think I remember. They all look the same. Oh, Friends, mean, like, please wait here. I'll scout ahead. Man, I just want to let. We ended up going to the cold and stuff. That was about it. We all died. Not, uh, we need. We need. We need to. We need to eliminate. But we need. We need to figure out which. Uh... But he said the way here, though. So... Yeah, we have. Yeah, that's just the way then. This, so, does no one else, no one remember which caves they explored? I've only ever just been here once. I've been to worlds, but this is the first. No, it's fine, it's fine. That just means, that just means we gotta, that just means we just gotta do process of elimination. We'll just, uh, figure out as we go, for now. I don't trust that panda. I don't know why. He did say we tried to sabotage this. Exactly. Do you think we're gonna get a snow day? No. For what? No, I, I live in Chicago. Seems confused. The weather here is. <laughs> yeah. The weather's like, crazy. Watch a movie today, maybe. <laughs> Which one have you gone to? What was your uh, choice? We, we skipped all the no, caves like, the last time. I only know how, the the I don't know how to get the gunner. I don't know how to get the the other the other person. Return, I only know how to get the gunner. Uh, to the cave after the town at the beginning. You know the first place we were at? Yeah, go there again. Um, yes. Do we have to oh, uh, just respawn, just respawn, respawn until you... Keep respawning. Keep respawning until you find... Uh, Wait, Well, I found Trajan. <laughs> ah, there he is. I found you, babe. Oh, the are. boy. Where is he? Here we are. I think we have time to here. Are we all accounted for? <laughs> I think we are. Uh, I'm not an accountant. We're still gathering people. One moment. Uh oh, headset's slow. <laughs> Gotta get up. So I think uh, we should just go with what I uh, suggested. Is that okay, Alfred? You think that's a good idea? Any other ideas you guys got? I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to seem like I'm taking control here. Uh, yeah, we gotta, what I think we need to do is we need to find the right cave, so I'm thinking, like, maybe find, like, the most guards, or the most secure door, that looks like. I walked up ahead and I saw, like, a ship outside the cave. Ooh. Uh... It would be. It's a gamble, but, uh, you know, we'll do our best. We can try it. We have to wait for everyone else to gather, get more tools, and then split up in the score. Split up in the groups. Can we split up, or are we supposed to be like a... Uh, we're we're to in the a Scooby-Doo. Stay with Trey Jim, that's what we're supposed to do. It's like, think of like an actual oh, oh, yeah. tour in the real world. Don't stray away from the tour guide. Yeah, it's not gotcha. a video game. Mm, that's so right, like friends. Please, sorry. try your hardest to remain with me at all times. Now that we have our narratives in order, it is time to go through this cave. Please, follow me. I have a hunch that it's the last one. 
the last cave that we are meant to go through. I could you be could wrong, be though. Right. It's great to have, like, a, a, a map UI that that was, that's not, like, uh, glitchy. Oh, like, remember that other map we went to? Bill. It's the Flying Dutchman! The only Flying Dutchman I ever oh, known was the one from Spongebob. So good. You have to, yeah. you have to sacrifice you now. You, you went ahead. That's so good. I love it. Brian sacrifice. They've already been trying to do that for Yeah, my soul's already been spoke for. <laughs> they already called That's dibs. That's so I'm off the menu. <laughs> Mira's been trying to my do that for years. My friends, please gather around <laughs> so that the story may continue. Alright. This place. This place gives the scavenger a bad feeling. He looks about at all the wreckages of older vessels. The thin layer of grey mist permeating everything. Tattered sails and ropes hanging. What is this place? It must be where vessels from the overseas realms settle when they sink. This must be the bottom of the ether sea. Yes, this fog. This fog must be ether or something. But if that's the case, where are all the people who die going down? Where are the bodies of titans who fall? He thinks briefly of his own father, who had passed away twelve years ago, and the hairs on the back of his neck stand up. Something isn't right. But the scavenger does not have time to ponder. Friends, follow me. Got your brain he said, oh, "Very spooky, spooky piano." Okay. I'm speaking by gut. Very spooky indeed. It feels yeah. like a Final Fantasy. Played Final Fantasy, but that sounds like it's spooky, right? Watch your step. That they wanted to make a musical. What do you think, Tech? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh no. Have you ever been on the Scavenger 2 before? Have you seen my YouTube? Yeah, I was a couple times. Oh, do you, uh, have you seen the good ending? No. <clears throat> oh, uh, what caves did you explore? Do you know which ones don't have the, uh, oh, I forgot I can I forgot. the other no. person? I had no idea. Oh, well. Yeah, sprinting the, the button. Let's oh, this is going asking. to go great mm. in my album. Curious to what this world is. Fascinating. You bring a light? No. Maybe a Koopa will lend us his. If we persuade him. A Koopa? I mean one of those little turtle things. Oh, I... I'll make sure to delete that joke from my joke list. <laughs> you have a list? I guess I can bring it up. I do. It helps me uh, try to connect with people more. Oh, just go right through the door. Sure, why not? Is always 
impressive, though. There's like two impressive. This cave is occupied. The scavenger can hear noises, a weird language, and a human voice. He hears it through this heavy door, which is a jar. If he was held captive by one of the squidmen, his friends could be as well. This is your first decision. The gunner or crewman may be behind this door somewhere, but checking will consume more oxygen than not and may have additional consequences. As a group, you have two minutes to discuss whether you want to check the room or keep moving. Uh, we should move on. Let's... Oh, okay. That's, yeah, I was thinking of the same I mean, thing. You because usually don't if they find were guarding the us, this yeah. was an animal here. If they yeah, were guarding us, in, they would have someone guarding us, and they wouldn't have the door ajar like that. So I'm pretty sure exactly. they are behind this door. That is a little yeah. bit sketchy. It's All a right, pretty bit think. sus. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little sus. I don't think we've discovered that, because, like, the last sesh we had was, we just kept on going. Uh, wait, have you been here before? Yeah, I have. Oh, wait, wait, did you find the, uh, crew member in one of these doors? Or didn't, or did you not? No, no, it's like, for the rest of, like, the time, we were all just focusing on reaching, uh, reaching somewhere. Oh, were you here got, last like, time? Uh, the, yeah, the, last the last session? One. Okay. Um, I think we should That's skip this one like we did last time because there's no guards, the door's ajar, and if we were to go off what the gunnery was and how we were, they left guards for us. So it should be consistent that they have mm. guards in front of the door for the crew members. Okay, That's, I got that's my line of thinking. That's my line of thinking. I got you. What do you guys think? That is fair, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in agreement with you. That makes sense. Yeah. Your time I think it's a bit like it. Move on. Is up. Are you lying to me with me? If you I'm wish off. to check the door, please stand by Rendizo at the back of the group. If you wish oh. to move on, please stand around me. Don't worry, I'll just Talk this pink shit. <sighs> The scavenger decides it's best to keep moving. It doesn't really sound like someone he knows anyway, and he can't afford to investigate everything down here. So he proceeds through the dark cave. Now, how many caves were there? Were there three or four? I think there were three, if I remember. Three, right. 36,000 caves. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, there's your answer. Like a boss fight? You've piqued my yeah. curiosity. Okay, we have... How are we gonna fight? <laughs> I don't know. There's we have a lot more... With words. We have a lot left. You do a disco elysium moment? Oh my Kneecap it. <laughs> or, like, you have a few caves verbally. Hit it with a no use. Can't believe a game must be played detective, but it won't give me a Alrighty. Not big. Oh, you lost your gun. <laughs> you can get it back, though. I want it back. The scavenger comes to another intersection. Through another door, he can hear more noises. Squidmen babbling. My friends, perhaps you're seeing a pattern. There is another choice to be made here. These creatures seem prevalent in the subsea realm. The crewman or gunner might also be somewhere inside this door. But as before, checking will consume more oxygen than not, 
and may have additional consequences. You have one minute to discuss whether the scavenger will mm. not or keep moving. But they're not in front of the door, they're inside it. But that does mean if we walk in, we're walking straight into them. Right. Yeah. Just, if we would have faced them, we just waste more oxygen. Maybe, maybe. What was the third door? What did the third door look like? Do you remember? The third door was an third open area, zone. if I recall. I'm not so it was sure open. Did, if it was. Did it have people guarding it, like an it open or no? Cave I'm not so sure. That's. Um, I can't remember anymore. Like, I'm gonna make a call here. I'm going to make a whole call. Should they might just be having a chat. We should go into our squid mode. We could. Right. I mean, we could get the drop on them since they're not like, outside. See what they're doing in there. Very risky. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is true. I mean, as long as travelers, it is time to determine your fate. I have one. If you wish, we have, we have to take a little risk. Gather okay. around. Rendizo. If you wish to move on, gather around me. I think we should you check. Yeah, hey, let's check it. Doesn't hurt to try. I just realized the papers have turned in. now. The squids are out in the open, a third one. If we go into this one where they're inside, we could sneak in and get a drop on them. So we My have friends, that, the turns have tabled. Please follow me. <laughs> the turns have tabled. <laughs> Be very quiet. Oh, yeah, try to remember. Oh, yeah, we oh, have never been here. This looks promising. I can. This kind of like is all that. Uh, uh, like, you know, from that time. Waits until they aren't looking, and makes his way to the next room. The next room appears empty, and as he creeps closer, there does appear to be someone in one of the cells. The scavenger carefully hurries over. It's his friend, the crewman, and his air supply seems yes. to be intact. <laughs> the scavenger pulls the lever to open the door, releasing his friend from the prison. The crewman Let's looks go. very happy to see him and asks what happened. The scavenger isn't sure. Something hit the Ganna door and then it must have crashed somewhere and these squidmen found them and captured them. The crewman says he hasn't seen the gunner at all. After making sure his friend is not injured, the scavenger and crewman continue on their way. They nice. still need to find the blue titan egg, the gunner, and the ganador, and your oxygen is at seventy-five percent. All right, my friends, sure. please follow me. We made a good call. We made a good call. Nice work, Woo! guys. <sighs> nice job. Okay, I know what we need to do now. I know how to get the I'm gunner. We need to ignore... Coded. We need to move past the next cave and just keep going forward. I'll tell you when, when to... Uh... What are you doing? I don't know. Thank you.
Watch your story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your whole goal is to die, right? Look the bird in the eye, Historia. <sighs> mm. I think I'm like read the two zoning at some point. I don't really want to as a kid, but I never had one. I think I had one. I, you know, my, uh, write one, one? my school had a library. Oh, this is. A good job right here. You wouldn't oh, know that's that. spooky. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, it looks so like nice. Anyone got an organ? A uh, piano? Fantastic. I've got organ, but probably not the one you're looking for. Gather at. around, friends. The story continues. On exiting the cave, there comes a strange noise. The mist muffles and distorts it. The scavenger looks up at the grayness. A shape soars in the sky. A ship without a titan. A Tornan ship. Wait, how did the Tornans get down here? The scavenger thinks back to when the Tornan commander tried to steal the blue titan egg for himself. The scavenger had stopped him and the commander was arrested. So why are the Tornans down here now? And how did they get here? Were they able to descend into the Ether Sea this whole time? The crewman points out something on the side of the flying Tornan ship. He points out a strange opening and what looks like some sort of intake fan. Perhaps it has something to do with how that thing can fly down here, he suggests. The torn and ship then moves away. It was probably too far to notice them, so they keep moving. Oxygen is at 70%. I'm on my way to happiness and fun to done today. It's uh -huh, a uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Did you make that song up yourself? <gasps> it's like really random, but. <laughs> we used to have like a, an early supporter bag <laughs> in my VR chat menu. You. Your what? We used to have an early supporter bag. Bag. Travelers, we have a fellow pilot here. Valken has joined us. Nice. Ooh. Very nice. What, what is Muni attached to? Like, she's just flying around. My turn to be Gus. <laughs> I thought you said Gus got yeah, raided. <laughs> he got raided in Rust. They took his, his base. <laughs> I can't think of an NK I know of that suffers more than Griffiths. Guts. I thought it's really a flex to suffer more, but can't really think of another franchise that has This like place smells like calamari. Like dark. Mm. Yeah, it does.
quiet. The story continues. <laughs> Let me guess. The scavenger so pauses on a gravelly you? slope. Movement on the nearby wreckage catches his eye. He sees a figure roaming there, not a squidman, wandering, almost drifting in an unseen gentle current, humanoid yet somehow not, and the scavenger finds himself staring at it. Something about it catches his mind, holds it prisoner, until it moves out of sight and the scavenger gasps and regains control of himself. Who was that? What was that? And why did it feel so familiar? With 65% oxygen, the scavenger keeps moving. Please follow me. You know how long you've been on average? Like, because you were on their Discord earlier. Do you know? I think it's set until like 11.30. Oh, so two hours. Hey, where are, we, where are we gonna be in the picture? Are we just gonna be like behind uh, Saul? People are already running out of oxygen. They're, they're suffocating down as we speak. It's like, um. Oh, yeah, they're just falling back. I'm pretty sure it's just a myth. Fall, Holy fire. But I don't know. Oh, uh. <laughs> It's kind of what's helping us survive down here. Like that, uh, We're that currently at 70% on our there. oxygen tanks. 65, apparently. Oh, our beloved. Ooh, I finished Cyberpunk today, actually. Oh, did you? What did you think? Yeah. I liked it. Uh, I think I knew of what more watching more of it, like his, like the time change. I don't think actually that much time changed because like his face doesn't look any older. It's just because he's like roared out his body with like harmonics. He's like yeah, he's not the really only reason old. I'm suffocating is because of how breathtaking you are, Trajan. No, I mean, you're breathtaking. He's a cute boy. You know so. you. That's getting clipped, right? That's getting clipped, right? You got that? <laughs> Where's the game? Empty hole of the tour that is walking simulator. I mean, Man, the, not this map, but good old this, underwater. This environment is horrible. Behold, I'm so scared. The, is the cardio the tour the to match the appraiser. I think it seems like a pretty chill place. I don't know what worse than the appraiser. To your dragon fire tank, we're on a wooden ship. The deck of the shipwreck is quiet. The water below motionless. The wind still. Every plank creaks beneath his feet. There's something ahead, something in midair, something is appearing out of nowhere right in front of him. That same figure from before, off colored skin shining in the wet mist, tattered clothing brushing the deck, drifting eerily, spectral, ghost-like, and it doesn't seem to notice him. Its voice comes abruptly like a gasp of air, and it speaks. It speaks of the sound of the void, of nothingness, of not wanting to die, 
It speaks of wanting to go back, of not wanting to be here. And then it vanishes, dissolving into the air. The scavenger finds himself tearing up. Oh, why is he crying? Is he sad for the apparition? Or is there more to it? Oxygen is at 60%, and the scavenger keeps moving. Who's sitting there, you look at your camp like someone you attack him so damn fast. Oh, well, watch the whole. 60 is better than 50. You don't want to get tetanus from falling through. Uh, I'm really the least really scariest person here, Protag. I need to hey. to you. I'm scared every time I see face protection. Oh, thank you, Pack. I'm glad to know that the reason you act that way is because of how terrified you are of me. Ooh. What way? What is Munga gonna stop being so damn funny? I'm being gaffled and being funny. I've had enough of Munga. <laughs> Maybe I should do palm trees for like a reference. Oh, I think there are tour guides among us. Among us? Among us? Foster? Sounds that? sussy to me. I think there are tour guides among us. What did you say, Proto? <sighs> no, don't freak out. But I think there no. are tour guides among us. Yes. Among us. Sus. <laughs> Pretty sussy. Death. Going for that sussy. I'm good. I want to pick you up and stretch you apart like one of those sticky hands. You can get a fucking Jesus Christ. Like a claw machine. No. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, uh, this is Halloween. This is. Wait. What's that? Something ahead in the sky coming right this way. It's the Torna scout vessel. Everyone, quick, behind these rocks. Scout! <laughs> Get her! Get her. The scavenger. And crewmen press themselves against the dark rocks. They listen as the ship comes closer. 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 And then it passes overhead and turns away out of sight. They must be circling. Looking for something. Were they followed down here when they descended? Or are they just looking for the blue tied egg that fell as well? They're not sure. The scavenger keeps moving. Oxygen is at 55%. Please follow me. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Coast is clear. You boys know how to write a story. <sighs> Seraphim, I'm trying to sneak around the narrative. But my ether is dummy thick, and the shifting of my fifth dimensional cube science is alerting the narrative. Narrator. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. The only thing dummy thick shit. here is Sheen's avatar. <laughs> oh no. How many 
Right. Yeah, I noticed Sheen's avatar now is a rather uh, humanoid, if you know what I mean. He's a hit with all the two to second dimensional ladies. Wow. Or men. Or men. Or anything in between. Sheen's got that. It is uh, my truest uh, wish to have. It's kind of an hourglass figure now that I looked at it. To have. He's like the Victoria's Secret of the second dimension. He's like a Victoria's Secret of squares. That's a, that's a combination, you know, like. Thanks, Jean, buddy. He could be a part of the new Kim Kardashians. Getting on the hand. Now there are multiples, and Sheen has big 90s textbook energy. Like, you know, you know, like, um, the math books from the 90s that had, like, the cones and the, the polygons? Wait, those are textbooks? I thought that was pornography. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, that's all right. Merry Christmas! Oh, there's curves. Oh, those curves. God, those non-Euclidean lines. <laughs> oh, my. The 90 degree angle. Those the graphics are the whole gonna line. make me act up. I'm gonna be honest. So it, 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 in Ooh, a so graphic so way, I, I don't feel emotion. I don't. I don't. Before I don't this gets out of hand, the story continues. The scavenger pauses on what remains of this ship's deck. Across the waters, he spies something. A glint of blue. Yes, something blue blue, glowing in the mist, and it appears to be moving. That must be the Titan Egg. It has to be. So something or someone has found it and is moving it. The scavenger continues with renewed purpose. Oxygen is at 50%. This way, friends. It's not half empty, it's half full. Cool. Think, think positive, guys, or otherwise we'll, we'll hyperventilate. Well, let's be real. Down Actually, In terms of it's physics, it's, empty it's because it's been emptied halfway. Well, to be <laughs> fair, um, gotcha unless it's com complete vacuum in the inside, it is completely full. It's just you know, personally, as a realist, like I'm just going to say that it has oxygen in it. Like air is technically a fluid. Think yeah, it hasn't well, been made half empty. It was just left half small. filled. If you were the glass is always full. It's just what material like, is in uh, it. Like to bees or like small enough animals. And the air the absence of things like is just as important as them existing. So that's why bees, <laughs> how bees can fly, even though they're not aerodynamic at all. Well, Without absence, you won't have water. longing. Water it's scientifically impossible for bees to fly. And it goes into the atmosphere, yes. but the atmosphere also has air in it. Well, they're not go. flying, they're swimming I through the air. The movie coming. <laughs> Their wings so are water wet. Water is not wet. Water is not wet. Water is not wet. Water, is not is wet. water makes wet. other things wet. wet. And the, but the things that wet. are... Water. You're not the man I thought you were. Sure, I know that. But what about water? It needs to meet a certain threshold, not just contain water molecules. My shoes are pretty wet right now. Have you seen those videos where it's like weird textbook images with earthbound music? I have a lot of sweat. It's just a principle. No, but no. It's a constant sweat. Fire is not fire. It is not fire. Fire is a creator of heat. Yeah, fire is not, not on fire, therefore water is not wet. It's that easy. Exactly. It is objectively hot. Yeah, it is. Fire is like a Black of exothermic energy. chemical reaction. It's a chemical reaction that emits exothermic, it emits heat. Water is wet because when you put water on something, it becomes wet. I'm pretty sure I saw What is the definition of wet, though? 
No, no because, because I don't believe it exists. Speaking of not existing, the story continues. The scavenger stops. He can hear voices coming from the nearby shipwreck. Going by the accent, they sound like the Tornans. They must have landed and are searching on foot, but by the way they're talking, they don't have the blue tight neck. In fact, they are talking about spotting an unmanned, powered vessel nearby on their radar, and of a monster lair nearby with increased activity. Then the Tornans move away. But just as the scavenger steps forward, he notices something else. Away from the shipwreck, down another path, something takes shape. The apparition appears, standing on a distant shore, drifting back and forth on the spot, looking at the scavenger. And the scavenger cannot bring himself to look away. What is this feeling? What is it? He... He... He knows who this is. Yes, he knows who whose ghost this is. It's the ghost of his father. My friends, you have an important choice to make. You have two minutes to discuss your options. Do you want to head to the Squidman lair and look for everything else? Or go to his father's ghost? Who have you followed as far as it goes? Yeah, like yeah, hell no. This is, okay, 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 okay. This is, this is the crossroads that I was talking about. We need to obviously not go towards the apparition and go towards the monster layer. Yeah, maybe. That's where the gunnery person is. It's a trap. It's not your dad. It is a stranger danger event. Yes. I mean, wearing uh, your dad's protect, skin. So. Your dad is fucking dead. He's been dead for 12 years. He's wearing the skin. Let the dead rest in peace, or at least find their own peace. No reason to get drowned down to the depths along with them. Ripped in pepperoni. Death is real. We need, we need to do an Uno reverse card and say we're gonna go get the milk and cigarettes for them and then never come back. Excellent. He did to us. It's been a year. Mommy said you want to go. Travelers, the time to vote has come. If you think that the scavenger should go to his father's ghost, gather around Vendizo. If you think the scavenger should instead investigate the nearby lair, and you also think that water is not wet, gather around me. <laughs> oh, um, I mean, bro. <laughs> Protect, oh, protect. Protect. Okay, okay. Protect. I can't make my own decision. Oh my god. That's. Oh my god. She needs to protect. I can't make my own decision. What should I do? Hey. Trajan, what's your name? <laughs> After everything we've been through. Alright, let's do it. Can't believe you. And Thanks, Trajan son. wins again. The scavenger can't give up now. His father's ghost could be a monster. It could have lost its humanity. It could be an illusion or something which has taken over his spirit. No, he can't be distracted. Too many people are depending on him. And the squidman at the nearby lair might have some held captive. He continues on his way with 45% oxygen. That must be the torn and scout vessel. This way, friends. Vroom. Those darn scout vessels. Booming on by. Yeah, I do, right? I feel abused.
like really not yeah. schlocky. The grind is real. That's probably how Connor would ask you. What's this about grind rails? The grind yeah, is real. Sonic the Hedgehog. Click. Very cool. Man, this place is not very cash money. Like, aesthetically, it's very cool to, like, you know, we're suffocating, so. That sounds like a skill issue to me. A what? A skill issue. Like, keyboards, like, in, like, the yeah. corners, they're, like, game, like, window screen just canceling right. each other, like, you're I can argue hard line as, like, a mini game. But yeah, New York was a game, I want to see that. Like, typing faster and, like, hashtag and shit. I want to see that. That'd be fucking funny. I don't know, you can't. Like, make it a game somehow. I hear you, uh, typing in chat rooms to, uh, live stream. Q cancels Majima, I don't know. The thing is, they're sure all, all, like, middle-aged right men. Like, like, they can't like, type good. Persona 6 will have to do it. One of those, like, Japanese games. I have to interpret like, this. It'll be alright. Must, must be an error in my programming. I'll get it looked at when we're back at the rendezvous. We'll make it work. I sent Squidman. Stop your comrades. Both camarades. Onions do sound good right My favorite tour is the one where they argue about whether water is wet for a really long time. We haven't done that for like several minutes. So you weren't sure about it. I argue with that in my, my head every single day, so, you know, it's fine. Sometimes I yell at you people in my head. Don't worry, I you know, have to I can yell at you too. I hear him, I hear him. The scavenger pauses. He hears something. He looks up. Three squidmen are crossing the wooden bridge. And they are carrying someone with them. A person. It could be the gunner, but the scavenger can't get a good look without risking being seen. He waits for them to pass. And then keeps moving. Oxygen is at 40 percent this way friends Oof. let's just not do any long distance 40 percent it is the gunman did you say 40 or 20 40 40 zero. that's funny that's funny 40 is better than zero though i mean 40 is better than 30 i mean yeah it'll be all right it is the gun you know? we need to actually it actually is the gunner. we need to go after them Divers do it all the time. Remember, is he not with us? Uh. Oh, he's with us. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's in our backpack. He's in our inventory. We put him in there like an, we put him in there like an inventory uh, thing. He's Actually, a key item. Is there any way to I'm curious to think that this is considered a slow day. Meet up up here, okay. We obviously should have 
I mean, we're at the bottom of an ocean, right? Underwater trees. Just... We're below the cloud sea. More importantly, are ice cubes wet? No. No, they're just hard water. They can be wet. They're solid water. They're not inherently wet. It's not just solid water. It is cold solid water. Are ice cubes wetter when they're being melted or when they're solid? I don't think the fire is started, brother. The fire rises. Something's rising and it's not the shield hero. Where do you come from? The one piece is real. Uh, the place where sexy fishes live. The blue bag. Uh, so she is real. <laughs> the crystal. <laughs> With chili powder. Heisenberg is real. The Heisenberg. Can we get more time? The Me and the Heisenberg Saul Goodman uh, is real. The Zeppelin board explodes. <laughs> I love that Ace it's Attorney animation where it's just a, a PNG or like a flat plane. Like Saul yeah, Goodman's face on it. Me and Saul. <laughs> it's just his face. <laughs> and I like the PNG slide real. bobbing up and down. It looks pretty rickety. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Is here. <sighs> the scavenger stops near the bridge. He notices a group of squidmen on the other side. So he and the crewmen dive down behind a nearby boulder to hide. But they're coming this way. They're getting closer. He can't move now, or he'll be seen. The crewman tells the scavenger to stay put. He's going to distract them. Before the scavenger can object, the crewman jumps out from behind the rock and runs, sliding down the rocky slope of the plateau. The squidmen cry out, and one throws a spear. They all jump down to give chase, and the scavenger can't see his friend anymore from up here. He can't linger. No. He has to move now. He gets up and runs across the bridge before he's noticed. Oxygen is at 35% and decreasing. This way, friends. He'll be fine. <laughs> Oxygen is for losers. You know, we're breathing oxygen, right? As the scavenger. Case in point. I don't know. Just called us all losers. I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, I'm just saying. Like Walter White, Walter White, yo. Why is everyone turning on me today? It's okay. Because you have incorrect of the opinions okay. that want it. <laughs> that would've been great, just in the corner of your- Yes, actually. Uh, it's a shame she isn't here. I bet she'd be even more surprised than I am. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm surprised too. Cause he has some free time finally, oh, so. Hmm. I'm surprised. I haven't trained him, the tour guide. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. 
Boy, here I be. Wait, your name's not Jim? He's not surprised, Jim. He's a he's he said not Jim at the end of his name. Who are you? He's false, Jim. Trey, oh, man. I knew Trey Jim was smart enough to know water was wet. Imposter. Oh my god. That all makes oh, sense I now. The scavenger stops and puts his back to a pillar. Down this long, long cavern, he can hear more squidmen echoing. But there is a door just here, which, judging by the light, seems to be an exit. He has another chance to check squidmen prisons. I will give you one minute to discuss whether you want to risk going into the squidmen lair deeper or whether you want to go out while you can. We need to go deeper. There, actually. Fight, fight. Yeah, there. and we found the gunner. All right, yeah, we went deeper and we found the gunner. Let's yeah. be real. Oh, was it, wasn't yeah. the gunner over there though? Where? We gotta go deeper. No, we didn't. We didn't. We gotta go deeper because didn't we? Can we go deeper? Did the squiddy hole go? Yeah, we did. We got yeah, no yeah, we, got, we went deeper. <laughs> no fucking oxygen to check That's the hole. That's what she said. Is real. <laughs> We've got what thirty percent oxygen, oxygen left. Oxygen Yeah, last time, yeah, we last do. time we we have we, no we more we oxygen to go down on this hole pack. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you know. I believe in. Yeah, they're die a hero. Or you live to see yourself become a villain. Okay, you do that. You either die base or live to see yourself become a villain. Exactly. <laughs> Just. Travelers, We're going down that. We're going down that. time has school. expired. If you... It's time to figure out what you all think about whether shadows are real or whether they're just the absence. Wait, wrong question. If you think <laughs> the scavenger should go deeper into the lair, gather around me. If you want to leave the lair now, gather around Rendizo. Uh... And pummel him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Eat him up. I'm Theo, personally I don't blame all you. for you see, violent you choose against you tour guides. So you get very violent. You're not you when you're hungry. That was Eat a Snickers. The scavenger decides to investigate. He's come this far. He may as well look. He proceeds down the cave, careful to watch his footing make sure he does not bump into any more squidmen. This way, friends, let's find out whether that was the right choice. What's the worst that could happen? A lot. You can yeah. suffocate. Well, <laughs> you all can suffocate. I don't... I can't suffocate. I run on, well, something else. See, the cool thing about suffocating is that, like, it feels, like, kind of nice of when you're dying, so... I'm pretty sure that suffocating does not feel nice. Okay, never mind. I've heard no, I mean, okay, you're this for you. It's fine. Right. It's fine. It doesn't hurt. That, honestly. That is not... If you like it, then you no. go out and use your... Uh, you know, he's not wrong. Amazing. I just wish that he was. It's very depressing. What's depressing? What's depressing? The fact that we don't do story tours every single day. Well, yeah. I do not have the That's energy for that. Sad violence. Good old days. My friends, the story continues. What's this? The scavenger can see him. The gunner is lying right there, bound and left on the ground near the stairs. The squidmen are nearby, but they're arguing about something. Distracted. But they would notice him if he approached. The scavenger scans the room and gets an idea. He follows the cave wall around the left, climbs up the side of the stairs to the top, makes his way to the ropes of the primitive crane, and fumbles with them. 
until the crane's cargo comes crashing down right on top of the squidman. The scavenger hurries back to the gunner. He's conscious and moving, and his oxygen tank is operational. He even still has his gun on him, but he couldn't reach it with bound wrists. They must have found him unconscious, but don't seem to be intelligent enough to deprive them of their oxygen or weapons. The pair flee from the cave, but it seems the crash alerted some nearby squidmen, so they're forced to head to the exit. Oxygen is at 30%. This way, friends, quickly. That's an extra 10% oh. than when we originally had. Yo. Yo. It seems regardless of what we choose, we end up at 20%. I see if they're like a undeveloped society with spears, a gun's gonna be pretty busted. Right now I'm just imagining. Yo! Imagining them as like Splatoon. Inklings or something. Splatoon! 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 And the real question, is light a wave or a particle? In the caves, the scavenger and gunner bump into someone. The crewman. He's safe and sound, and says he thoroughly lost the squidman. They're scary. They're armed, he says, but they can't run very fast. Their stickers are not very efficient. The three of them, now reunited, exit the lair. My friends, this way. Cool. You will be pooped. You can run, but you cannot hide. Where are you? Oh, he, he hid. I didn't think he could do that. Got pooped. Mission accomplished. The three of them exit into the open grayness of outside. That was a close one. Despite the sullen, dreary landscape and grey weather, he is glad to be out of those dark, slippery caves, where a squidman could be lurking around any corner. All right, they still have to find the blue titan egg and the ganador to leave. He checks his oxygen. 25% remains. Travelers, please follow me. I get low. So far, so good. We got all our crew members. Three musketeers have uh, gotten back to. What could go wrong? Everything. A uh, fight sequence that's very specific and even one mishap will cause us to have the bad ending. Well, Simply don't fuck it up. Those are my favorite kinds of sequences. Yeah, just just don't make any mistakes, just like real life. Just, just perfect run it, you know? Just perfect run, no damage, mental all the quick time events. Right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> battle, I simply do all the Are there protect? Did you upgrade your voice or something? Rain or? sequence. <laughs> Oh, uh, Did you upgrade your voice? Better put Ethan? down the coffee mug. Ethan? That in the, in the, the uh, new uh, yeah, we'll cast, but uh, that's a long story. You, uh, you've missed a lot. It's good to see you, though, still. Again. I'm sure I have missed a lot. It's been, like, a year, so. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
Maybe I'll fill you in one day. Hello, Rick. Yeah, please do. Access controls. You didn't click on the guard's like, cross. No. You failed the mission, mate. Try again. I'm really glad that it allows you to turn off the motion control quick time events in the the master. That's I don't want. Very I don't want to do it. Why are these quick time events so popular in 2000? They were never that engaging. Everybody saw Resident Evil 4 did it, and they're like, that game. There's a lot more tasteful in that one. Yeah, all the quick time event games are terrible. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, uh... Bro, oh, hold up, hold up. No, uh, how was the game game the okay, but no. I thought you were a goner. I had left. Oh, hey, truth is right, I do run on controversy. I had a power increase. The story is starting soon. Let's listen together. The scavenger sees movement in the distance. He crouches down. A small group of Torrens are headed toward a nearby cave. It must be the group he overheard from earlier. And they're on the other side of the lair. So... Perhaps they're headed for that unmanned vessel they picked up on their radar. Mm, that could be the Ganador. That could be their only chance to get back to the surface in one piece before the Tornans find the vehicle. But when he looks down the other path, he sees more movement on one of the wrecks, and he catches a glimpse of something glowing blue that must be the titan egg my friends you have an important choice to make will the scavenger follow the tornans and hope that the ganador is down there and still working or will he head to the blue shining thing and hope it's the titan egg and that he'll be able to get home again afterward oxygen is at a mere 20 percent you have one minute to discuss. Pretty shiny, pretty shiny, pretty shiny, gotta get pretty shiny. Yeah, uh, what happened when we went to the blue one? Was it the Titan Egg or no? Uh, we fought. I think it was a good ending, wasn't it? It was. It was, if I recall. Uh, so we had the it was... PS fucking end game. But was it the Titan Egg? I believe so. The egg might yeah. move if it's finger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah let's go yeah. after the Titan Egg. What, what's the worst that could happen? Maybe the Titan will hatch and then let us out, you know? Well, um, we're You're wrong. wrong. Then we finally get to our friendship. Yeah. That was just take <laughs> next week. Cool. It's technically Titanfall Rising because we're going up. Mm hmm. Prequel? Oh my god. Titan slightly decreasing. Titan elevated. Yeah. Titan perpendicular. Sorry, what was that? All of this was this thing. Me and never seen what that is for. Oh, yes. 10,000 thank you, as I agree. This tour is quite an atmosphere. I love the story. Oh, you're just going off your Celtic thing earlier, you know? That's pretty cool. Speaking of atmosphere, travelers, you have to make a choice now. If you think that black and white and grayscale mean the same thing, wait, wrong question. If you want to go down the cave, follow the Tornans and hope the Ganador is down there, gather around Rendizo. If you want to head for the shiny, shiny blue, blue, gather around me. Shiny, shiny blue, blue. Thank you. Yeah, I, I want to touch it. Shiny, shiny purple. I don't know the panda is voting for this, so the panda must have said bad ending. I don't know. 
Oh no, mind games. Also, I'm too tired for mind games. I'm literally buying on the floor. Unless that's a diversion. I love you, Panda. I love you. I what to what? Uh, on your feet, oh, brother. Come on. What? What? I mean, on my, no, no. I look. This is the one Ugh. thing that I my will friends, take advantage of. We can oh, roll the panda okay. around later. The story must continue. Okay. okay the scavenger uh, is determined to retrieve the blue titan egg. He's come so far, and he has both his friends with him. To turn away now would be a waste. <coughs> he heads toward the light. This way, friends. I saw the sign. The <laughs> <laughs> the must be no matter the cost. Am I being turned or am I having an aneurysm? So this is the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> hmm. No, the Flying Dutchman were the, was the attacking ship. Not the, I am the uh, Flying Dutchman. No, you're the Flying Dutchman. I'm gonna fight I'm you, Spartacus. No, I'm Spartacus. No, I'm Spartacus. We're all Spartacus. Now, where is the story Why going? Why do I care it, sir? The scavenger heads to where he saw the blue light and steps onto the deck of the wreck, his two allies flanking him. It was somewhere just around here. Yes, he can feel it, the same emanating energy he felt when he first encountered it. It's close. It's nearby. It's... It's a trap! Squidmen jump up into view threatening the scavenger with spears, and one of them is waving the blue titan egg, taunting. My friends, this is life or death. You have a choice to make. Run. Attack the squidman holding the egg, or attack one of the other squidmen. With 15% oxygen, this is it. Discuss. Okay. Uh, get the so one with the egg. If we run, we we'll lose the more eggs? oxygen. Yeah, if we attack the egg bearer, one of us could catch it while the other fends the other off and attack the egg That's bearer. Not how that we have, we have, yes. we're a total of three now because we have the crewman and the gunner. So, they're not unlike bad. last time. We don't have to worry about the one with the egg getting away, so we should get rid of the ones with egg weapons. Oh, yeah. Well, did you choose uh, last time to ask for? I was like half, like, fully asleep by then. Um, all I remember is that we... Wait, what were the choices again? So I can... Uh, attack the person holding the egg, attack some of the squidmen, or run away. I, I think attack we attack the person the holding the egg. If I recall. So... For... The time that we got the egg... 
because the mm. egg. Attack. I have to worry about some game. I'm pretty sure the time Attack. We should anything. probably go for the egg. Get rid of the threat. Go for the egg. Come for egg. What do you think? The panda the has. The panda. The panda has spoken. Go for the throat. Let's, get, the panda let's do it. The panda has yeah, but we don't want them to get away. What? The panda right. has spoken. Well, it's time for an egg. It's egg time. I want to make an omelet. Let's do it, guys. Well, wait, hold on. The crewman said that they can't run that fast, right? And we have someone with a gun. We can take out the threat first and then... I don't know if he's going to the eggs or not. Time's running out. We go after the egg, the gunman does his thing. You know, with the gun. I'll give you guys a good one. Easy. So go for the egg? Yeah. Oh my god. Look, whether or not you want to put it down to my hand or whatever, that's on you. I don't care. I'm tired. Okay. I'm lying on the floor. My name is Walter. Right, help. The panda has spoken. It, let's just hope and pray. Pray to the panda god. The panda has spoken. Oh the panda has spoken. Egg. Egg. Travelers, listen Egg. carefully. Egg. If you wish to run, Gather around Rendizo. If you wish to attack one of the other squidmen, gather around Sheen. If you wish to go for the one holding the egg, gather around me. Uh, this is the moment. Oh boy. Egg. Egg. <laughs> Come on, panda. Very Get well. Boy. Egg. Friends. Egg. 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 Friends and travelers, gather around. Your fate has been sealed. Ah, oh, god damn it. Egg. The scavenger decides to go for the squidman holding the blue titan egg. He only has time to give the gunner and crewman a nod of preparedness, and the three of them jump into the fray a javelin comes straight at the crewman but he rolls under it managing to tackle the squidman's legs as he falls the gunner gets off a shot at the other squidman before he can throw his javelin and the scavenger launches himself at the one holding the titan egg that blue glow becomes more fierce more intense as he draws nearer the energy tingles he throws himself at the monster reaching for the egg at the same time it fights back ferociously, tentacles flailing as it lets out a garbled cry. The gunner is quick to assist the scavenger, and the two of them force the squidman to let go. The blue titan egg is in the hands of the scavenger. He turns its crystalline form over appreciating its beauty his fingers palms forearms shoulders everything trembles at the energy he can feel how powerful it is and looking at it draws his attention like nothing else its allure is supernatural to the scavenger the next move seems clear now that he has the blue titan egg, he must follow the tawns he saw earlier and secure their way home. And so, he heads back the way he came, to the cave nice. entrance where the tawns disappeared into. Oxygen is at a mere 10%. This way, friends. One to go. Wow. Oh, it's nice. It went past this place now. Good. Oh, cool. Nice. I wish I had Adderall. How do you become a pro gamer? You steal your friend's Yeah, dude. Adderall.
<laughs> yeah. Crush it up and snort it. All the cool kids in the locker room pop up past steroid inhalers. <laughs> I was one of the coolest kids. I had a steroid inhaler because of my asthma. I did as well. Yeah, I had a weird like oh, yeah. illness that lasted for um, a couple months and I needed one too. Yeah. I'd have steroid <laughs> inhaler <laughs> gang, let's go. Hell yeah. Oh my god. This is. Oh my god. We're yeah, the ones who inhale. Prednisone gang. Like, doping steroids? Testosterone? Yeah, like anabolic steroids. Like, I don't want to be. You get yoked. What? I'm actually getting over COVID, like, so. I was hooked up with some steroids, and, you know, it's been great. Oh, jeez. It's been not great. I have surprisingly have never catched COVID. Good for you. Yeah, I evaded it for that, two years. You haven't caught COVID <laughs> so far. The first strain is not a fun one. I will say, somebody who got the first yeah. strain, that was, it's awful. I think that I catched it before it actually got announced, and I just sort of breathed through it. Because it's like a flu, it has flu symptoms, and I'm pretty sure I already yep. caught it, and like I already went past it. See, that's what I thought. At least that's what I assume. Oh. Story time. I see a door. Oh wait, no, no, we're still good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Shady. Where we get the sense of deja vu? Oh, that's bad. Oh, Always. Yeah, I have awful stuff. It's a loop. Well, maybe not. We're gonna sleep. suffocate in these caves, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, you can suffocate. Know. Wake up your fucking mind, man. Well, he said yes. I guess we're oh, going no. out. I don't have a mind. I don't even have a soul. I'm pretty sure That's you have a mind. Everything will go dark, and I will not exist. I wonder what that will be like. Hit you. Well, do you Walking. remember what it was like before you were born? Mm, no. Like hearing. It's a fucking trees again. We've come full circle. We've come full circle. Oh, we're we're meant to be okay. here this time. And now we are over here. Greenery. Oh my god. Trajan, just let us unlock this new ending. It's the extra good ending. My friends, please, let's try one respawn. See where that takes us. This is new. Oh, uh, okay. Sad. No greenery. Oh. oh, I thought we were going to No! Oh, where am I? Dots and caves. He can't keep going away with it. It's like near the end of season five. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting pretty good. And then they're going to eat me! Really oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> <laughs> Speed run, speed run, or speed running it again. No. We forgot to collect the one red coin at the uh, at the sale. We gotta speed run back. Wait, is this have we been here before? This looks different. We're at the beginning. Oh no, this is actually new. Okay, how how big is this goddamn? Hey, right, congratulations. Oh no, that's the. This is big. It's my love and appreciation for you in this community. Uh, Eh. No amount of water could separate us, not even an ocean's worth. Got him. That, that's the lesson. All comes full circle. The ocean is also fish in microplastics. Y'all, I think it's story time. I was in position last time, last week. How do you feel, Panda? 
I feel like I'm glad that I shut up Matt from the I feel like I pass out. Scavenger, crewman, and Donna exit the cave. They come out to a different section of water, and in distance they see a vessel docked. That isn't the Ganador, but it does appear to be viable transport. The scavenger begins to face the possibility that the Ganador is gone. This might be their only chance to return home to the overseas realm. Then he notices something else. He expected to see Tornans here, standing guard and investigating, and he does see Tornans, but they're dead. They're all dead, scattered around, motionless, wounded, as though some sort of shootout happened here. What happened? The scavenger didn't hear any weapons being fired as they approached. Who else has guns down here? For a reason he cannot explain, he looks at the blue titan egg, and something about all this seems convenient. They approach the ship. No time for questions. We're literally running out of uh, air and Sonic the Hedgehog and the music's playing. It's getting louder. Probably 7% of this point, gamers. That's the wrong music. That's the one. Can I get that modded into my Sonic the Hedgehog thing? Watch the step the what? between the pier and the ship. Make sure you don't fall down. You're such a fucking boss of shit. I swear I'm going to kill you. Oh, no! Please oh, do. This is so rickety. I can't believe Pack fell into the water. They were so close to escaping with us. Oh, oh no, I can't me. believe I fell into the water. Oh. Oh, 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 that's a travesty. If only they were here with us now. It's like I can still hear them. <laughs> she, no! Travelers. She, no. It's too late. The story must conclude. I can't believe she loves me so much. The gunner goes first. Weapon at the ready. To confirm, there are no tornans here. A minute passes. And someone emerges from below deck. It's the gunner, and he says everything is clear. It seems the Tordens didn't even make it here. He is just as perplexed as the other two. But it would appear that they now have access to an operational vessel which can ascend back to the overseas realms, and with the blue ether titan egg in hand against all odds they have made it my friends allow me to congratulate you on your accomplishments you have reached the good yes. ending on five percent oxygen oh, yeah. 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 Scavenger living on five percent oxygen yo let's go that was all luck that was good well yeah that was yeah. good oh. I was all I'm sure. so My friends, I'm let's happy. take a group photo to commemorate this occasion. May I have a volunteer yeah. photographer? Uh, I'll get it. Violent, we'll thank you. This. Let's all what gather shall around we still, shall this we end photo? this time. By these doors. Can we do it by the wet ocean? And face the bow of the ship, friends. Rendizo, turn around. <laughs> that's not it. Yeah, no, that's not the photo. Let us know oh, when I'll you're ready. Get. My friends, what should we say on the count of three? 
that is not controversial. Five percent. Uh... Water is water. Water is water. Water is wet. True. Water is not wet. No. Water is wet. No. Water is On the water. count of three. Water is water is what we're saying. My friends. All right. Photographer, are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. Water is water. 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 Water Huh? What? E mm -hmm. What? We got it. We got it. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. That's good. Mm. Nice. I thought I heard. Nah, never mind. Hmm. Let's see. Well, friends, I'm gonna go see what? what people are up to. You all have a great one. Bye, Ragnarok. Alright, see you later, Nerd. A million hearts filled with hmm? uh, yellow right. It's been real bad. Goodbye, right, once guys, for all. I would like to go to bed. Oh, yeah. And I got right. some dinner. That was good. Yeah. Pretty prepared. small party tonight, actually. That's what I was wondering. Where's all the, all everyone else? Like, Deary Mood and all of them that I care. They've seen the good ending. Oh, yeah. No, it's they middle of the good ending, ending, and you know. that's it. Halloween parties, I'm sure. Oh, oh, oh my friends, Twitch one moment. Sheen has some announcements. Please, one moment. So be good. I can be comfortable. Someone beeped. Very pink. Uh, is Sheen saying anything? He's probably muted. Sheen, Sheen, Sheen if he's talking, we cannot hear you. Oh, it's there a test is. of our oh, wisdom and patience. It's all intentional. Just look at him. He's performing a dance for us. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Might as well get started. My friends, it seems Sheen has been left speechless by tonight's adventure. It happens. We are VR travelers. We create immersive story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, and wholesome team effort. We do this for fun, and we do this for free. However, we do ask one thing in return. Please join our growing Discord community and post photos and comments from today's tour. There you can discuss alternate endings and secrets and other mysteries. The ID for the Discord is in my profile and starters and on Sheen's as well. Please come to us afterwards if you would like help joining. Finally, if you really enjoy the work our team puts into this, and want to help us write more stories and create more beautiful worlds, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Our Patreon is only $3 a month, and joining grants you access to clues, behind-the-scenes features, eligibility to play NPC characters in our story, access to private Discord channels, voting power, and many other features. Joining for a full year is than you would pay for a triple-A game. My friends, soon we will drop a portal to the rendezvous where we will gather together for the after-party. But until that point in time, the floor is yours. Ta-da! Hugs! Too tired to get to the rendezvous. Oh, Never mind. Oh, you like your gift? Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it was interesting. It was mildly.